Kyrie Irving will be the only Celtics player represented in the 2019 NBA All-Star Game. The list of All-Star reserves was revealed Thursday, and no Celtic was picked. Bradley Beal, Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, Chris Middleton, Victor Oladipo, Ben Simmons, and Nikola Vucevic were voted in instead, although Oladipo will be replaced due to his season-ending knee injury. Eastern Conference All-Star Reserves, Bradley Beal, Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, Chris Middleton, Victor Oladipo, Ben Simmons, Nikola Vucevic, Chris Mannix, at say Chris Mannix, February 1, 2019 sees believe they can get AD to stay here are the Western Conference All-Star Reserves, 2019 West All-Star Reserves, Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Nikola Jokic, LaMarcus Aldridge, Carl Anthony Towns. No Tobias Harris, Sham Sharania, at Sham Sharania, February 1, 2019 The All-Star Game will take place in Charlotte on February 17 at 8 p.m. Joining Irving in the starting lineups are captains LeBron James and Giannis Antetokounmpo, along with James Harden, Anthony Davis, Stephen Curry, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Joel Embiid, and Kemba Walker. Click here to download the new MyTeams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Subscribe A. Shared Blakely, Chris Forsberg and Kyle Draper discussed the latest with the Celtics. Will Guillory, Pelicans beat writer for The Athletic, joins the podcast to discuss rumors surrounding Anthony Davis, 2 o'clock A. Shared Blakely, Chris Forsberg and Kyle Draper break down the latest rumors surrounding Anthony Davis. 6 o'clock, could there be a mystery team that goes all out for Anthony Davis? 7.30, will Kyrie Irving sign an extension with Celtics if they don't have Anthony Davis? 12.20, will Guillory, Pelicans beat writer for The Athletic, joins the podcast to discuss rumors surrounding Anthony Davis. 1400, what kind of deal would Pelicans want for Davis? 1800, does Jason Tatum have to be involved in the trade for Anthony Davis? 2100, how do Pelicans fans feel about losing Davis? 2500, would the Pelicans be a good team in the East? 2800, breaking down the Celtics record in January, state of the team, Boston, while the rest of the NBA was transfixed on the Anthony Davis drama in New Orleans, the New York Knicks delivered a trade deadline bombshell by reportedly dealing Chris Tapps Porzingis to the Dallas Mavericks on Thursday afternoon. On the surface, the Knicks seemingly took back an underwhelming amount of talent in a package headlined by Dennis Smith Jr., while giving up one of the NBA's most unique players. But in getting Dallas to eat the bloated contracts of Courtney Lee and Tim Hardaway Jr., the Knicks have positioned themselves with room to chase two max contract free agents this summer. That's no insignificant development and one that will create aftershocks on both coasts. The Knicks have long been rumored to be a team that might be able to lure Kevin Durant out of Golden State this summer and now the Knicks can sell Durant, or any top-line free agent, on the idea of finding an all-star buddy to bring along to New York. That's a game-changer in a league where players routinely daydream about creating their own super team. Add in the possibility of the Knicks securing a game-changing talent in this year's draft and there's the start of a rapid return to respectability. More NBA news The trickle-down effect in Boston will be increased speculation about what Kyrie Irving will do this summer. Irving's name has been in headlines this week with reports suggesting he's no slam dunk to return to Boston, despite his pre-season declaration that he planned to re-seen here, while others have suggested that Irving might be open to the idea of playing alongside LeBron James again. Both suggestions seem like over-caffeinated speculation. Yes, the 2018-19 season has been more trying than Irving and the Celtics probably could have predicted, and Irving's declaration that he phoned LeBron James led outsiders trying to connect all sort of dots. Sprinkle in the possibility that it might benefit a team trying to acquire Davis to suggest that some indecision exists in Boston, and it's easy to see how things might have snowballed, but nothing Irving has said recently has suggested any sort of change of heart from his October announcement. Irving hasn't been available to reporters in recent days while sitting out the past two games due to a hip strain. It will be interesting to see how exactly he addresses these reports at his next availability.
Irving is not listed on the Celtics injury report for Friday's game in New York, which means he might not only return to the lineup but address reporters for the first time since the scuttlebutt intensified. More Celtics Those around the Celtics organization have suggested that there's no reason to believe Irving has changed his mind about wanting to be in Boston long term. Celtics president of basketball operations Danny Ainge said Thursday during an appearance on 98.5 The Sports Hub's Toucher and Rich program that he talks to Irving daily and believes Irving has enjoyed his time in Boston. Ainge reaffirmed the team's desire to have Irving back beyond this season. Irving can opt out of the final year of his rookie extension this summer and sign a big money extension. That would also eliminate the Rose Rule provision that has prevented the Celtics from making a run at Davis this season. The collective bargaining agreement prevents a team from trading for two players of such designation. Even if Irving reaffirms his desire to return to Boston, it's likely that rumors will persist about whether he might ultimately change his mind this summer. This blockbuster will only force those questions to intensify and Irving's future will remain a hot topic until he formally inks his next deal in July. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.